Hey nerds, it's Cole, your nerdy guy here, back again with a new video. Hope you enjoy, and don't ever forget... You deserve to be in first class hands. That's right, I said first class hands! Hey nerds, it's again Cole, your nerdy guy. Back again with a new video. I know it's been quite some time since you've actually probably seen or heard from me. Well, the cool news is, is that I have been trying some new things, getting better editing. This is me talking about the Splatoon 3 uh, Nintendo Switch. Honestly, a great Switch. I love the Joy-Cons. As you may or may not know, I have an addiction to them. I constantly have to collect all of them. And Nintendo keeps dropping consoles, so I keep buying them. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. Uh, but I actually do like Splatoon. I play Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. I actually haven't played Splatoon 3 yet, but it's great. I think the Splatoon on the Switch was way better than on the Wii U. The gamepad being unibody uh, didn't allow me to get full function. But, you know, hey, I got full function on the, uh, the Joy-Cons. Hey, oh. We're opening it now. All right, cool. So let's just, you know, acknowledge the fact that it's opening. Um, it's really, really cool. Like I said, these Joy-Cons are fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, look at that. Look at them. Oh, the white backs with the Splatoon and Octopus little markings on the back. Oh, so clean. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, the gradient colors from yellow into green and then from, purple and, from blue into purple... It, uh, I wish the blue was a little more blue, but the purple is still really, really nice. The Joy-Cons, top tier. Top tier Joy-Cons, just from the color scheme alone. I love it. I love it. Uh, the Switch itself, in this case, I'm going to open it up there for you. You know, ooh, slide it out. Slide it out. Oh, yeah, we got it. We, it took a minute there. Oh, don't show the face. Don't show the face. So, the Switch itself is actually really, really cool. If you look at the back here, it has a bunch of markings um, with Splatoon 3 characters on it and Splatoon 3 markings. Really, really nice. Really, really like it. Um, and then from this point on, it is pretty much just... Oh, wait. I forgot the dock. Did I forget the dock? I gotta do the dock. Oh, nope. I'm gonna not do the dock first. I'm gonna do the cords, you know, the most useless part. You would think I would have done the dock first because, you know, that would have allow me to shorten this video quite a bit. I could have fast forwarded it. I mean, I guess I really could have just fast forwarded to this part too. Whatever, I'm here now, I'm here now. We're here. we're in this to win this, right? We're in this to win this. Yeah, all right, cool. Now we're getting to the dock. Here we are. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, who are watching, nerds and nerdettes, this is the Splatoon 3 dock, which I must say, I would have wanted more from this dock as far as color schemes, I think that Nintendo really did drop the ball overall with this dock. It's really nice. It's really clean. The gloss on it is perfect. But I think with Splatoon, you have the opportunity to do a lot of colors and a lot of, you know, mismatch here, mismatch there. But, you know, we just kind of get mostly a white dock. Yeah, the gray gradient uh, characters are on it, but still, it's just a white dock. You know, it's, like I said, not really a problem, but hey... It is what it is. At the time when I was opening this uh, Switch, I really thought this was going to be the only Nintendo Switch I was going to have to buy this year. But um, uh, that was not in the game plan, as you will soon find out in a moment or two. Right now, I'm cleaning it up again, thinking that, hey, you know what? I just spent some money on this. That is uh, all the money I'm going to spend on Nintendo Switches this year. And uh, I, again, was very, very wrong. And just, dear Lord, how wrong was I? Like, it's, Point is, you're about to see another Nintendo Switch, okay? Like, just enjoy this one for right now. Bye. Yeah, it's not really bye. God damn it! Like, come on! I, 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 like I said, I really thought that the Splatoon Switch was going to be the only Switch I got for the year. But it wasn't. Because... About like a week and a half later or a month later. I don't remember how long it was. Point is, it wasn't that long. Pokemon decided, hey, we're going to come out with a Nintendo Switch as well. Meh, 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 meh. Now, 
if if you're keeping count, this is the fourth Pokemon Nintendo Switch I have. And you hear the rage in my voice because, well, frankly, it it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy I have it. But I just, oh, my gosh. Now, again, we have a purple and orange Joy-Con. The orange is like a more of like a burnt sienna. I don't know if even that's the right color. Point is, I'm very happy with it. I love it so much. Pokemon as a whole was like just a great game for me. I, I, I believe I kind of speed through this opening. I, I could be wrong. Like, oh my gosh, I was so flustered and frustrated. But do you see the back of that Switch? Oh, so much better. See, this is what I was talking about with the Splatoon one as to... What I think it should have done, it had color variations on the back. Again, don't show that face in the reflection, but still very clean. Very clean in this. Yes, um, also, this is my primary Switch. The Splatoon Switch was quickly outdone. I mean, uh, why wouldn't it be? Hopefully, I go for the dock first this time. And no, I don't. I go for the charger. I'm just going to fast forward this part. And we're back. Okay, so... Uh, this is again a prime example of what I wanted from the Splatoon Switch just as far as just you know the eventual colors like look at the Pokeball in the back that's pretty cool um, and then we have Coridon and Maridon in the front and they are just absolutely freaking lootly gorgeous like I cannot stress this enough how beautiful this Switch dock is it is like reflective and the colors and it's just oh my goodness and this is what I wanted more from the Splatoon one. It's just, I'm, I was very, I am very pleased with this Switch dock. Um, again, it is, I, I just, uh, I can't believe I had to buy two Switches back to back. Because again, I'm a sicko. I have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. I can't stop buying these Joy-Cons. But look at them. They're so freaking clean. And if you think for a second I wasn't going to get a Pokemon Switch when a Pokemon Switch came out, oh, you are sorely mistaken. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I, I was so flustered and frustrated. Like, there's there's not much more for me to talk about. Uh, I think I'm setting it up and turning it on. I don't know why I'm doing this on camera, but whatever, whatever. I'm just going to like I guess run through this. Um, so. Oh, wait, now I think I do remember why I'm doing this on camera, actually, because I want you guys to hear that sweet, sweet, sweet Nintendo Switch click. Uh, I believe it should be coming up now. Yeah, there it was. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much the whole video. I uh, just, I, I can't. I, I just, I set it up. It becomes a main Switch. I'm, I'm really happy with my purchase. I don't, I know I don't sound like it, but I'm really happy. But either way, First video back. I'm going to be uploading more, I guess. I, I know I say that a lot. Whatever. I'm coming back, all right? Bye, nerds. I'm waving a lot. Bye, nerds.